Grog thumped his chest, the rhythmic beat echoing through the damp cave. His tribe, the Flint Tooth, huddled around the flickering fire, their guttural chatter a symphony of grunts and gestures. Tonight was the hunt. Grog, the largest and bravest of the Flint Tooth, hefted his crude spear, its tip sharpened from a rare space rock fallen from the burning sky. Their prey wasn't the usual rock boar or flutter beasts. Tonight, they hunted the glimmer folk. These spindly, silver skinned creatures crashed in their glowing metal chariot weeks ago. Unlike the flint tooth, these creatures didn't hunt, they scavenged for glowing rocks, their large, black eyes peering through the darkness. Fear rippled through the tribe, but Grog wouldn't tolerate it. He pointed a calloused finger at the crude drawing on the cave wall, a mangled depiction of the fallen chariot. Tonight, he roared, his voice shaking the cave walls, we show the glimmer folk the flint tooth bite. The hunt was tense. The glimmer folk, with their strange, clicking language, huddled near their wrecked chariot. Grog, leading the charge, emerged from the brush, spear raised high. The glimmer folk shrieked, flashing a blinding light from their metallic hands. Grog, blinded momentarily, stumbled. He braced for the killing blow, but it never came. A young glimmer folk, smaller than the others, stood between Grog and his tribemates. It held up a glowing sphere, projecting a holographic image of the fallen chariot, smoke replaced by swirling colors. Then, another image, a creature unlike any Grog had seen, towering and metallic. The young glimmer folk pointed at the image, then back at the smashed chariot, its black eyes pleading. Understanding dawned on Grog. These weren't invaders, but crash survivors. He grunted, lowering his spear. The young glimmer folk, its fear replaced by relief, pointed at Grog's tribe, then at the sky. Grog understood. They were lost, searching for a way home. Grog led the glimmer folk to the highest peak, a place where the fallen stars sometimes streaked across the night sky. The glimmer folk tinkered with their broken machine, using strange tools and glowing stones. Finally, under the light of a double moon, the chariot sputtered back to life. The young glimmer folk, the one who had bridged the gap, climbed aboard. It turned, its black eyes filled with a strange emotion Grog couldn't decipher. Then, with a burst of light, the chariot rose into the inky expanse, leaving behind a trail of fading embers. Grog watched it go, a sense of wonder replacing the initial fear. He looked back at his tribe, their faces illuminated by the fading fire. Tonight, they hadn't just hunted, they had encountered something beyond their wildest dreams. And maybe, just maybe, they had made a friend among the stars.